Okay, Treat, let's talk about some techniques and how okay. you build some relationships. What would you do if a relationship had been strained slightly? Well, if the, if the relationship had, has been strained, I would try to do what I can to resolve that relationship. Try to see if there's something that I did to offend that person. Because if you did something to offend that person, you should go to that brother or that sister yes. and you should try to make that thing right. Now, you that's know, what the Bible You are there. really good. You remember, yeah. you and I, we had some big conferences and some people got agitated about some of the people that might be there. Mm -hmm. And you handled it masterfully. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you covered it with love. And so when I look back, that's one of the reasons you're sitting on the stage today mm -hmm. is because you were able to handle the conflict and we got past it and all those yes. people are still our friends. Yes. They're better friends today than they've ever been. And you know, speaking of relationships and saying, thank you, Jesus, I have something that I would like to share for married couples. Come on. You know, God blesses marriages. He loves marriages. He blesses them. And there is an umbrella that covers you. And that blanket, I'm sorry, the blanket that covers you as a husband and a wife is the blanket of love. Everything goes under the blanket of love. If you have, uh, if you have been, you were upset with your wife or upset with your husband, it's covered under the blanket of love. If you did something wrong to hurt your spouse, God covers it under the blanket of love. So whatever you do today, as long as love is your covering, Tell God it. is going to keep your marriage. So don't feel bad because we all fall short. Of the we all do things that we're not perfect and we, we're humans and we do imperfect things at times. But as if the blanket of love that covers your marriage, you'll live out your days and you'll stay together as one. So I'm speaking a word to someone talking about relationships. Go, for, go the distance, work it out, do what you can. Say you love one another and include God into your marriage. Include God. And I know this is what God wants me to say. It's because good. so many people are, you know, they're going to the left and you're going to the right and you're trying to figure it out. But have you consulted with God? Amen. Have you had a conversation with the Lord? And have you talked, have you given Jesus the opportunity fire, to help you in your marriage? And don't compare your marriage to others. What you have is a beautiful thing. And it's covered under the blanket. Okay. I want to break in. And, you know, yeah. I'm representing some big corporation. They call me and they say, well, no, Kevin, this person's not producing. We just want to cut them. The truth is they should be coming from a position of love. They should love their organization and love their... Now, you should go and talk with the people, kind of love. make it as clear. That's but right. make your approach from... Love, love rather than I'm going to dismiss this person irregardless mm -hmm. of what their situation is. Mm -hmm. Love is the answer. And don't go to bed angry. Come on now. Don't go to bed angry. Stop doing that. Love. I'm telling you. Love covers all things. It is so true. And I guess we should say more and, and more. And date your spouse. Date your spouse. I saw one of those little Facebook things that if you don't date your spouse, somebody else will. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you go, people are talking about these kinds of things mm -hmm. because conflict is real. Yes. We live in a real world. Problems are real. That's why I love the church. The church is dealing with real people mm -hmm. and real problems every day. And another thing. She's You're married time. to your spouse and not your children. Mm -hmm. You're not married to your children. You're married to your spouse. Watch God that. called you two yep. as one. We should take that and play that for all the... I can't do anything with my husband. All he wants to do is this, that, and the other. I have well, children. Well, fix yourself up, Come on dress now. up, and the man will want to take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or the woman will want to go out with you. You know, when we meet and we're dating... You look amazing. But then when you've been married 15 years, you look like what in the world? <laughs> what in the get world? Get it together. <laughs> You're good. Nobody, get it together. I think you need to do a marriage conference. I, I can right do it. I know I you can, can do it because I did it to the death did me, us part. Yeah. I, I stayed true until the end. Amen. And that was the only thing Praise. that separated us was death. If it was not death, I would still be married to the love of my life for 26 years. So I feel I can speak to couples yes. because God has given me a husband for 26 years. Yes. And you know what? You'll miss them when they're gone. So tell them you love them. Say, I love you. Yeah. Because when they're gone, it hurts really bad. I want to share with you yeah, my next door neighbor's daughter was about 20 years old and mm -hmm. she was killed in an automobile accident. I remember going through the line at the funeral home and I was trying to console her and I spoke to her and hugged her, and she said, Kevin, tell the people you love every day you love them.